I don't know, boys. Today is a day of Milwaukee leaks. Now, I want to thank Nine Blue for sending us over. Um, so, I went to Home Depot. Actually, this is on Home Depot's website, but it says temporarily unavailable. All right. Went to Home Depot Canada. Like, my man Nine Blue said, says the same thing. Uh, but you can look this up, guys. Just uh, put in Milwaukee M12. Unfortunately, the thing that stinks about it is we can't really find too much specs about it. Now, I know my man uh, Doors Room uh, Reviews, he, he does these, um, you know, patent like he'll he'll dig down deep and see what's going on for the future and I, I think he did a video on this specific um I'm sorry here guys I'm sorry it was probably pretty dark there I'm at five percent I actually just got done working here um so I don't think he has any more information about it too spec wise but um so it's a six inch hatchet chainsaw you know, awesome. I mean, I, I can think of so. This thing would make. Well, I don't want to say that because again, it does have a chainsaw blade. So you, again, you can't get any type of dirt in this chain. So, but you know, obviously for you know two by fours, um, light pruning of limbs, bushes, shrubs, stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm sure they're going to not gear it towards the OPE, especially it being a 12 volt, of course. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to think what, it, you know, it being a 12 volt, is it going to have enough power to, I mean, obviously it could do a two by four. And I, I don't know. You, you got to remember, guys, and a lot of people think the bigger the chain the more powerful okay now i don't you know maybe i shouldn't put it that way the problem is guys with certain chainsaws i'll put it to you this way a smaller barn chain is better okay because you get higher rpm all right spins quicker all right so one reason why that makita 10 inch top handle is this such a beast saw is that it has a 10 inch bar now if that DeWalt right 20 volt 12 inch you put a 10 inch bar on that I'm sure you will get a huge improvement in performance you might not be able to cut as big as material that you want but then again I mean what you're gonna be doing with a 12 inch that you wouldn't be doing with a 10 inch you know you're going to be doing the same exact things, four by fours, you know, limbs, you know, shrubs and stuff like that, two by fours. So, um, but anyway, yeah, you know, this is going to be a little niche kind of product, I think. I think a lot of people, um, you know, are going to kind of want to have it. I mean... Yeah, I mean, I, I'll be honest with you, sometimes using a chainsaw is a lot easier to cut stuff with than like a recip. You know, recip is are great for demos and stuff, but you know, if you got to do a quick cut of a of a 2 by 4 you know, and again, obviously you're not making a precise cut, you know, you just want to cut it. Um I'll tell you, chainsaws work really good, especially with 4 by 4s Um but you know, some of these sawzalls now like the super sawzall um and you know another thing too is this the blades you know you'll you know chainsaw blades man you keep them out of the dirt you you, you know you keep them um cutting clean material you will save a lot of money you got you know a six inch chain it's probably like ten dollars if that, $8, I don't, I don't know how much they're going to charge, but a normal Oregon 12-inch blade, 12-inch uh, uh, chain, it's like $12. And, I mean, you can use them, 
for a long time. And they also have sharpeners, chainsaw sharpeners, though I find they don't really work that well. But anyway, yeah, I guess they're going to see maybe how this goes. And if people really enjoy it, maybe they'll come out with a little 18-volt version, maybe with an 8-inch bar, right? A little bit more power, of course, especially with the newer batteries and everything. But, um, yeah, and it has a nice little, uh, looks like a, I'm trying to think what this top part is. I don't know, maybe you can kind of put a little clip on there and maybe you want to clip it on your, your belt or something. Just a very large belt clip. But anyway, another new tool, you know, slowly kind of getting, it always, it happens every year, guys. Where now, okay, somebody kind of messed up, put it on a website, right? Um, you know, something like this, Home Depot Canada. Somehow it's it's pull, pulling up on a Google search now. Um, so very interesting. And again, we're into July. And we would have known all the new tools if the MPS 2020 it was June 9th. They obviously release everything that day. So, like I said, a lot of people were asking me how they were doing it. Are they all done? They can't be all done. They really didn't really... You know, I think like every Monday, guys, today, a perfect example. I got a whole bunch of, you know, emails from corporate. Today, they were promoting the new uh, multi-tool blades, the new um, axe wrecker and torch recip saw blades that's why we're seeing a lot of deals on the old ones there's going to be new ones coming out in september i already put it on instagram so we're going to see some stuff and that's why you know i haven't really been um saying no to that lawnmower but again guys i've heard so many you know and it's all in good faith you know people hear stuff and they pass it along you know you never know what you're going to hear have i heard that they were coming out with a lawnmower this year yes have i heard that it wasn't coming out yes so you know until we actually see something um but again uh, i'm still getting tons of questions on the lawnmower and like i said guys if my big rationale of this MX platform is, I think, to get into bigger stuff to compete with some other tool platforms in the OPE. I think, again, the OPE line has been very successful for Milwaukee, but they know there's a limit. You know what I'm saying? So with this MX platform, they know they can come out with a kick-butt lawnmower and do it their way. Commercial. Right, they know they can come out with a snow blower, single stage, double stage. Okay, I guarantee you, Milwaukee comes out with a double stage. Okay, snow blower. Now, there's a couple, I think Snow Joe makes one, but you're gonna see some, some crazy stuff, I think, with this MX platform if it's successful. To a degree, I don't know. I, I from what I hear, I, I, I don't, you know. It, again, it's, and you know, the flexible, you know, what's going on with that? Do we really know? I mean, we'll have to see. I don't know. But anyway, so has there been really any new flexible tools out? You know, I mean, you'll see one here and there get released, but we'll have to see. But anyway. We'll catch you guys. Milwaukee 12-volt fuel 6-inch hatchet.